was just trying to do this town a favor by building them a state-of-the-art stadium and brand new houses on the old Addison Road site. Yeah, but I fail to see what this has got to do with you giving council allow half a million pounds. Well, if you'd let me finish, I'll explain. The council owns the Addison Road site. Now, if the club was to move its ground, then the site was supposed to revert to the council, and I needed the land. And? Well, I approached Councillor Pravin Lal with the idea of buying the land from the council. And it was abundantly clear to me that both Lal and some of his colleagues wanted payment if the deal was to go through. But half a million pounds? Mr. Block, you do realise that this would make this the biggest case of corruption in local government ever? Don't answer that, Jerry. Lucas! You in here? Open this door! Oh, we missed it. Nice. We could do this place over. No. Nah. He'll be at the club. We'll catch him there. Right. Every single day there were new demands. And if I said no, then there were threats. Councillor Lau? Yes. Yes, Councillor Lau. He knows some very unpleasant people. Let me get this clear. You're alleging that Councillor Lal, the chairman of Harchester Planning Committee, threatened you with violence. Well, not in so many words, no, but, but I, I can assure you that he, well, I was very, very frightened. Good morning, lads. You were pleased to know I have prepared the dossier on Wolves for tomorrow's game. First time round, will you, Linger? Now, it's the FA Cup. And as holders, our fans will expect us to beat a First Division team. Now, we handed the game to Newcastle on Wednesday night. Why? Because we hadn't looked at our dossiers. More like because Eddie and Scott were at each other's throats, mate. Okay, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, cards been serviced and the captain turn up. Harchester cards. I don't worry, son. They've betrayed me on more than one occasion. Cut along. Ray, do you remember those routines we did yesterday? Yes. Right, let's get cracking on them. As soon as you're ready, lads. Scott, Eddie, I word in your shell like. Right. What is going on with you two? You better speak up, son, or you'll find yourself on the benches. Now, where was your mind on Wednesday? You gifted Newcastle the game. Yeah, I wound him up before the game. It's my fault. Then you are fined a week's wages. And you are fined a week's wages. Now, shake. Shake. You can ignore me, Jerry, but you cannot ignore the fact that you have just incriminated yourself in a major fraud. Don't you dare slam the door on me. You owe me an explanation. Calm down. No, I will not calm down. That cheque you had me sign, you used that money to bribe people. You implicated me in a fraud. How do you know that? Oh, come on. You blow your nose in the police station, Andy. The whole world knows about it. The press office have been inundated with calls. Now, I could go to prison. So you better start telling me the truth, and you better start telling me now. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Should have been a bit harder then, boy, mate. You ain't got a clue the amount of trouble you have got us into, man. You really ain't. We're here to see Eddie Moliano. Where's brothers? He is here, isn't he? Yes, uh, but he's training at the moment. Thank you. Half a million pounds to bang a couple of local councillors. Have you gone completely mad? Marilyn, do you mind not nagging me? She has nagged me all the way home from the police station. Quite honestly, I have had enough. Right? Okay. So I made a mistake. A mistake? 
That's the understatement of the year. Why would you confess it to the police? Nobody was twisting your Yes, heart. they were. Dawson was. He kept on and on at me. I had to tell him something. Do you realize what you have done? You're going to be charged, Jerry, and because of the statement you made to the police, you will have to plead guilty. And when you're convicted, you will have to resign every directorship of every company, including this precious football club. No more Chairman Jerry. Don't you think I know that? Now, ladies, I'm very grateful for your help and your advice. But it's finished. What's done is done. All right? Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Thank you. coaching session at St. Alfred's. Eddie, it's been in the diary for three weeks. Look, I ain't gonna do it, babe. I've got a bit of, um, <clears throat> business to sort out. What am I supposed to tell a school full of disabled kids? Well, ain't like we're getting paid for it, is it, Kel? Hi, right, Kel. What's up? I don't believe that Eddie Molliano. He agreed to do a training session at St. Alfred's three weeks ago, right? Two days before he hires off. Who am I going to find at such short notice now? Well, I'll do it. What? I mean, if it's okay. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that is great. Listen, right. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you at yours once you finish training and we'll sort out the details. All right, would you? Oh, I just came with I could kiss you. Thank you. Any time, Kel? Any time? Hey, you know, guys, guys, I have no idea how I survived as a football player before I got this piece of rubbish. <laughs> no idea. Ah, Mr. Ray, with this dossier, you're really spoiling us. <laughs> Just read it, Billy. The sooner we read them, the sooner we can get out of here. Anyway. <laughs> Who done this? All right. Someone stole the toilet paper from my loo and replaced it with this. I want to know who it was. All right. Dossier's out. Well, they all seem to be present and correct. Yes, if everybody, uh, except for yours, Mr. Gallagher. W where is your dossier? It's very simple, Mr. Baptiste. It happens to be... <laughs> you want to be careful with that there, because you give yourself a terrible rash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to see, boys. Team spirits. Good to know you're full of energy. Boots on. What? What? You heard I said boots on. They only just warmed down. Well, since they're not interested in a dossier, that gives them extra time for more constructive things, doesn't it? Like a nice long run. So shift it! We've got a game tomorrow. Shouldn't we let them rest? All right, lads. Come on. God, Ray, you've got to do something about this, huh? Well, he's the manager till Luis gets back. What can I do? Well, I speak to my agent, you know. If I want to be treated like a monkey, I join the circus. Yeah, well, be patient. There's an old English saying. Give him enough rope and he'll hang himself. And by the way, leave the toilet paper alone. <laughs>
I'm sorry I shouted at you just now. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I... I never, ever thought it would come to this. Yeah, well... You'll have the most interesting year of your life. That's what you told me when I came here, wasn't it? You're in the clear, you know. Really. I mean, you're not implicated in any way. I'll, I'll let them know that you had nothing to do with money. Thank you. Do you know what, Marilyn? When I first bought this club, I didn't know one end of a football pitch to the other. I thought it would be a laugh, a bit of fun. I never thought I'd get hooked. I never thought I'd feel so passionate about this game. But I did. Now I'm going to lose it all. No offence, Jerry, but... Money's blood to you. Why would you spend half a million pound banging some local planning chief? Why don't you tell me the real reason you gave council allow that money? I owe you everything, Jerry. I'd do anything for you, but I can't keep working with you if you will not tell me the truth. Scott! Scott! Listen, man, I don't want no aggro, all right? Leave the door open, but it's too late for that. See the two guys over there? Don't look, you muppet. Why? That's Tony and Marco. My brothers. But they're here to sort you out, man. I'm warning you, just get in your car and disappear, mate, all right? Listen, man, look, can't we just be reasonable about it? Reasonable? These are my brothers. They don't do reasonable, mate. Let me tell you, last year we went to the coast, yeah? These two guys whistled at Gina. It took six blokes to stop a pair of them from breaking their legs. What, what on? They broke his legs for whistling? For whistling, yeah. So God knows what they're going to do to you, man. Sorry, boss. before you go. What's that, mate? Listen, the only thing to hurry for is a woman. And you can't see a woman if you smell like you do. <laughs> no, no, I've got them a car from uh, the garage, haven't I? I've got to close the lunch time. Well, wait five minutes, I'll give you a lift. No, I'll just go find mate, all right? OK. I love you. Scott! Oh. Tell him I won't be you in the office. What now? <laughs> Have you got a problem with no? No. Uh, I don't want any trouble, all right? I don't know what we've done any more than you do, but if this blows up, it's going to be in my face, not yours. Just let me deal with it my way, please. Oh, yeah? And it your way? Like you've done brilliantly so far? Now, where were you when your mate was doping your kid's sister and taking advantage of her, eh? Had a lady friend, did you? Well, I hope she was worth it, you spineless wimp. That's got never dope, Gina. Shut up. Look, you've got it all wrong. You don't know a thing. You're saying Gina's lying? Papa was ready to break your legs. But I'll stop my neck out for you. Now, unless you want to have to discuss this with him, I suggest you start cooperating. Because I've got about this much patience left. Now, we're going to wait outside and have a word with your mate. I suggest you go and let the big boys sort out your mess. Capiche? Yes, son. Eddie, please. Just Eddie. Eddie, don't you Eddie. Eddie. Lads. Hello, Eddie. No, I think he's upstairs. Let's go down, huh? Well, you didn't know her real age. No. And you didn't know she was Eddie's sister. No. Well, at least no laws have been broken. Yeah, we'll try telling Eddie's brothers that. Do you want me to tell them? No, no, I'll probably make it worse, won't it? Listen, I don't want this affair, if you could call it an affair to damage the smooth running of this team. You sort your differences out, right? Yeah. Not really got to go. I'm finished. Go! How long
long's he gonna be? Oh, this is a joke. Relax. He's gotta come out sometime. Stop him! Stop him! I'm going to wait for you. Oh, you're joking. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? This is late to go to Melbourne. You might not think it will be worth it. No, 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 no. But listen, game plan. I'll go back out, but I'm not distracted. You go out back, get in your car, just disappear, bro. No, no, my car's in the garage. Oh, you muppet. Take my car keys and your coat pocket downstairs in the change rooms. Take them and go, all right? Man, this is not good, man. This is not good at all. Well, it ain't arousing me either, man, but that's what you get when you think with that. Yeah, all right, don't you sort of... Well, stay lucky, bro. I'll speak to you later. Hey, hey, Where is the little runt, then? I don't know. Look, lads, I ain't sure about this. I don't care what you think. Where the hell is he? He's probably still changing time. Into what? A butterfly? How long does he take? Thank you so much for agreeing to go to St. Alfred. Yes, it's my pleasure. Anything I can do to help? Well, you have, in more ways than one. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, the kids will love it. And I don't have to spend my Sunday with Eddie Moliano and his wandering hands. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll get a kettle on you. All right. Oh! Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's just Gordon the Terrible's workout. I think I overdid it a bit. You sit down, let me, let me... No, no, it's all right, I got it. Let's go. <sighs> Look, you obviously ain't coming. Look, why don't we go and grab a couple of beers, play some pool, just, just kick back and all calm down a bit, eh? This is business. I'm not doing the sights of Archester. Look, I know that, but there's nothing wrong with missing a bit of business and pleasure, is there? I oh, will do that, all right. I'm going to have great pleasure teaching your mate a lesson. <sighs> Look, lads, why don't we go inside and sort of like a bit more warm with it, more comfortable? We're fine, thank you. Fair enough. That's him! Stop. Stop. Just calm down a bit, eh? There we go. Oh, 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 Lau wanted his money, I knew that. But I couldn't give it to him. The worry of the whole thing was killing me. But I've told the truth now, and, and I've got to suffer the consequences, haven't I? I don't know, if Lau did have anything to do with your shooting, then I, I've got every confidence that the police will arrest him. Oh, Linda, I am so sorry. Jerry, come on. It's all gone, except you. You haven't gone. You won't leave me, will you? Is anyone there? You looking for us? You and I need to have a little chat, mate. You've not been very well behaved, have you? It's a man, right? It's been a mistake, yeah? So you're right, there's been a mistake. And when a mistake happens, someone has to pay. Don't hit my legs, please don't hit my legs. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. 
Oh, yes. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Carry on. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's amazing, Kelly. <clears throat> Can I uh, come into my own home or are you having a bit too much? You all right, though? Is everything okay? Cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. <clears throat> uh, we was just going to watch a film. Do you want to join us? Yeah, why not? I'll just put these away, eh? Oh. Look, Wes, I probably shouldn't stay too long, actually. I'll miss my bus. Don't be silly. Well, you might as well stay here tonight. We can watch the film, get a takeaway. Billy won't mind. Uh, Billy won't mind what? If I stay over tonight. No, it's fine, yeah. Come on, then. Film starting. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We've had some complaints from the people in these flats. What's happened there? I don't know. It's unconscious, Sarge. Is this your flat, sir? No. I think you better come with us down to the station, and then we'll sort this out. Can go for November two, too. Don't listen. I've done nothing wrong, man. I've done nothing wrong. You got it all wrong. But you got it all wrong. It's not me. Look, he's injured. Look. It's FA Cup fourth round day. Holders Harchester United put their crown on the line again today, eight months after that historic day at Wembley. Harchester entertain first division Wolves. Will the goal scoring talents of Scott Lucas and Wes Kingsley see the Dragons through for caretaker manager Gordon Gallagher? Wolves new golden boy is Addy Akinboy, who has quickly established himself as one of the hot shots in the nationwide league. Now he has Premier League Harchester in his sights. So can he make Wolves boss Colin Lee's day? Morning, Sandra. I left some lessons out outside the front gates already. Could you get onto security and find out where they got their tickets from? You should take a look at this. What is it? Oh, no. Where the hell is Jerry? I'm looking for Eddie Moliano. Can you take a seat, sir? <laughs> what? Gaffer. What the hell happened to you? Did Eddie do this? No. I came through last night. Been wheeled out of some ambulance somewhere, yeah? Police are trying to tell me that Eddie beat me up. I'm saying he didn't. What do you think you're doing? Getting yourself beat up the night before an FA Cup match? Now, you know the procedure. If anything happens to you, you're supposed to get in touch with the club. Listen, all we got to do, right, we got to get Eddie out of there and we'll be sorted, Oh, right? no, son. We are not sorted. Read this. And how do they find out about her? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's asleep right now, Marilyn. I'm afraid he was rather worse for wear last night. Yeah, well, when he does wake up, will you tell him that all hell's breaking loose here? You see, I can't be expected to cope with the FA Cup tie, the fallout from the Lal Affair, and now this sex scandal on my own. He says, um... Oh! Oh, so he's woken up now, has he? Look, he says you can handle it. OK. Goodbye. A Hartchester United insider said the girl, believed to be the youngest sister of Eddie Moliano, was picked from the streets by the five million pound striker Scott Lucas. This is rubbish, man, right? She picked me up. He says Lucas allegedly subjected her to a sordid sex game for the benefit of the teammates. This is Ball, man. Who wrote all this? Now you calm down. Now, I know you want to protect Eddie, and that's very commendable. But I need to know who did this to you. Yeah, and I want to know if Eddie is pony. But don't you worry, I promise. I'll find out who did it. He's free to go. That's about time, too. You all right? Yeah, man, fine, fine. Yourself? Listen, man, I'm sorry about all this, yeah? Forget it, bro, forget it. It's all been my fault, man. My... Can we save the tearful reunion for later? We have an FA Cup match to play. And this is a hell of a way to prepare for it. Now, come on. Your no comment. Look at my camera now. What? Got anything to start? We can play this afternoon. We can play this afternoon. Sorry. Vultures. Wait, what? 
phoned you to go and see the physio. Then after that, Mr. Bolt, I want to see you both in his office. Come on. Jerry's not here today, but I'd like to see the three of you upstairs in the boardroom as soon as possible. Very well, let's go on and show us, get yourself cleaned up. So what's the matter with Jerry? Don't ask. How much of this is true? Most of it. Scott had a fling with Eddie's sister and Eddie beat him up. Well, how did he get in the papers? Well, someone must have told them. Do you have any ideas who? Well, far be it from me to say, but Michael Dillon's partner is Eddie's PR. And Eddie was the only one that came up smelling a rose. Exactly. Angela, can you uh, call Anne Patterson? So I'd like to see her down at the uh, club as soon as possible. Look, Jerry, you can't just hide from everybody in here. Your club's defending its title today. The chairman should be there. Well, I'm not going to be chairman for much longer, am I? So Marilyn might as well get used to holding the fort. Oh, stop being so miserable. I have done everything I can. I've done something wrong, I've confessed. Now, I would really like to be left alone, please. <coughs> well, they're not cracked. Just booze. How do you feel? I'm all right. Really? Well, it hurts. Good, what do you think? We're not even on the bench. No. All oh, right, you better go home and get some rest. Uh, I still want to see the three of you upstairs, if you don't mind. But if we play this right, it would be great for us. The Hartchester player who defended the honour of his sister. He will look great. I've got a raft of options. Have you spoken to him yet? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> he is a good-looking lad. If we act quickly on this, we can really launch him. I'm here to see Jerry Block. He's not here, I'm afraid. Can I take a message for you? Hmm? Message? No. Where is he? Look, I'm not moving until he comes down here and sees me face to face. So you did bring a teenage girl into the club. What were you thinking? It's not all true. Nothing happened in the kit room. Oh, so, so she wasn't scantily clad? Well... She, she wasn't humiliated in front of the first team? No. And, and she didn't run crying and semi-naked out into the street? And you, Eddie? There is no place for this kind of thuggery at the club, however justified you think it may be. Now, I will talk to Jerry. But I really don't think we can keep both of you on after a fight like whoa, this. Whoa, 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 wait! All right? Eddie didn't do this. Okay? Eddie didn't do this to me. Eddie was trying to help me. So who was it then? I don't know, do I? Oh, come on! Look, it's my brother's all right. Is this true? Right, you can go home. Well, I want to stay for the match. I want to watch the game. Well, you're no good to us on the pitch, and you are certainly no good to us off of it. Consider yourself suspended. Y yeah, but At I'm... least until your ribs have healed. Now go, and stay away from the club. Not you, Eddie! Two things I've got to say to you. Firstly, if any of your brothers come anywhere near this club again, you will be out of Harchester before you know what's happened to you. Do you understand me? And secondly, you better make sure you play very very well this afternoon. Now get out. No way. Uh, in the English lesson at school, they used to teach me, huh? And listen, because my English is very good, huh? Do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> no, no way. Yeah, Scott must be kicking himself for not asking first, though. So he's definitely out, energy, yeah? yeah? I think so. He's a freak. Not for a cup game. How about Eddie? Uh, I don't think we'll miss him too much, mate. <laughs> Jack? Hey, old Billy. Read this. Is this wind up? No, sir. England under 21s want me. England under 21s want me! England under 21s want me! England under 21s want me! You've seen this? Yes. Any idea how they got hold of the story? No, why should I? I just thought you representing Eddie Moliano might have been privy to the information and decided to make something of it. I haven't spoken to Eddie yet, and I certainly have not spoken to the press. Yeah, well, somebody has. Now, I've arranged a press conference for three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You, Eddie Moliano and Scott Lucas will be there to explain this fiasco. That's all. And Anne? If I find out that you've had anything to do with this, I personally guarantee that you will never set foot inside this club again. I'll see you tomorrow.
The Wolves are in town. 5,000 of their fans have made these short trips to Harchester for this FA Cup fourth round Midlands derby. The streets around the ground are choked with fans. Many of Harchester supporters have fond memories of winning the famous trophy at Wembley last May. But by comparison, Wolves haven't won the FA Cup in 40 years. The team has just arrived at the ground. Adi Ekambai looks confident and ready. You look like you slept in a ditch. I'm fine, man. You sure? I'll be buzzing, mate. Great, right, lads! Listen up! Go on! Now, we cannot play with the team that we wanted to for obvious reasons. So, Granty, I want you up there with Wes. And the rest of you remember, they need support. Ray? Now, look, they're going to be physical, trying to knock us out of our rhythm. Be patient. I want you to take this game by the scuff of the neck. But be patient. Now, they're going to come at us like a whirlwind. Put your foot on the ball. Lock up. I want you to go out there and get them. Now, remember this. They have come here to take our cup. And I want you from the off to let them know it is not on offer. Now, I believe in you, boys. So come on, let's go! Come on! Come on! Let's go! reception for the two teams. It's Harfest United against Wolves for a place in round five of the FA Cup. Let's check on the teams. The real surprise is that Harfest United have been forced to leave out Scott Lucas, who's picked up an injury in training, according to manager Gordon Gallagher. So Andy Grant is asked to play an attack with Wes Kingsley. Meanwhile, French international Didier Baptiste. OK, if you're not going to go to the match, I'll put the TV on, shall I? What? is the point. Come on, you don't lose it completely. It's the FA Cup. In a nil-nil draw. It's Harchester United to get us underway, playing from left to right in the first half, in a real expectant atmosphere for this FA Cup tie. I just wonder how Harchester will do without their two main strikers today, Luis Amor Rodriguez, who's in the USA having treatment, and Scott Lucas, surprisingly, omitted from the starting 11 with a mystery injury. as Curl knocks it long to try and pick out Akinbai. Oh, hard to strip, give the ball away here to Corica. Steve Corica now for Wolves. Robinson, and another chance. Comes and goes, Wolverhampton Wanderers. That really should have been 1-0. And Hello. that artist United you doing defense it? has been rocked now. Thought and you'd be in a match, wouldn't you? Um, I need to talk to you about yesterday. Yeah. There's a rumour going round the club, that story in the newspaper, that I was behind it. Were you? No, I wasn't. But Eddie is a client of mine. There is no way I'd want that sort of publicity for him. Talking of which, what are you thinking of doing now? What? Well, I'd like to know what you're going to do about the story, if you're taking it any further. I thought we could talk about your side of this. Look, right, Eddie might be a client of yours, yeah? He's also a mate of mine, yeah? So if you think I'm going to go to the press and diss him, then you're wrong. As soon as things sorted out, the better. Right? Right. You know, if you're staying, you can sit down. You're making me nervous. who's showing real signs of frustration against the big, powerful centre-forward. Come on! Where's Jerry Brock? I'm sorry, he's, he's not here. I've been waiting nonsense for hours! It's always just a moment so we can get it for you, sir. Well, I won't be kept waiting any longer. But if we could just talk about this inside... I but... will not be stepping anywhere, young lady. Get your hands off me! I will not be treated like this. Jerry's a card, he'll pay. You'll all pay for this! So, you want to tell me what happened? Be useful to get your side of the story as well as Eddie's. I didn't know she was Eddie's sister. I didn't know she was 16 either. You know, I ain't seen no 16 year old like that before, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I take her down to the club and, um, 
you know, for a laugh, let the lads have a butcher's out. She didn't see the joke. So Eddie freaked out. She went home, told her brothers. Close Sinton down, you tart! So it wasn't Eddie that beat you up? No, nah, you're having a laugh on you. No, you know, we're mates. Oh, come on, Linger, you muppets! Dreadful challenge by Linger. And another free kick towards the chance for them to put some players forward. Here's Akin Bai. Abby Akin Bai. Beasley arriving. Right now to Wolves. That had been coming for some time. Just a minute before the break. Why don't you turn this rubbish off? They are pathetic. First half for Wolves and a dreadful first half for Hartish United. Basley scores the only goal. West Kingsley's had few opportunities, but Didier Baptiste has had a torrid. Well, thanks for your help. I'd better be off. So uh, you'll be helping Eddie out now, will you? With his image, you know? Well, yeah, it's my job. If you think I need help, you know, with my image. Well, you're not exactly the nation's favourite, are you? You, uh, you reckon I can change that? Well, it's up to you, really. A couple of well-judged public appearances and you'd be right back in favour. Eh? Well, you could start with a press conference tomorrow. But I tell you what, I could try and arrange something sooner. Local school, perhaps. Just as a one-off. We'll see how it goes and take it from there. Yeah, well, <laughs> I better wear my shades, eh? <laughs> Thanks. I'll be in touch. Will someone please tell me what is happening out there? Wes, you've got to find quality space. They're reading us like a book, all right? Can't and Baisley do over me. I don't have any options. Then up your work rate. Pull them out of position. You are no Scott Lucas, son. The less ability you have, the harder you've got to work. So get out there and work hard. Where do you think you're going? To the toilet. You want to join me? Maybe you'd like to scream your instructions to me while I relieve myself, huh? Tell me, Mr. Baptiste. Why did you want to play in this country? Honestly? You know, I can't remember. You know, I don't give that for your credentials. What I see out there is a player not fighting for the right to play. Okay, so you get knocked down. You stand up, you eyeball them, and you give them a straight back. Now, for once in your life, why don't you go out there and play like a man? Sonny boy! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let me through! I know he's here! Block, you coward! What are you doing here? It's Wolves to get us underway. 1-0 up at half-time. Surprisingly, today isn't a sell-out. Artist has four recent league form has certainly had its effect. As Muscat drives the ball forward here for Wolves. You must retract your statement. I mean, tell the police, I did not receive any money. Well, after that, that, then we can forget about all this. You did receive money. I paid you rather a lot of money over the past yeah, year. Yeah, not half a million, eh? 50,000 pound facilitation fee, yes. 20,000 pounds, yes. Oh, so you are admitting that you received money, yes? Not 500,000, eh? Anyway, where's this money if you paid it to me then, eh? Well, how am I supposed to know? Don't ask me. I don't know what you do with your money. You devious devil. I'm killing you! Oh, you pig! Linda! Linda! Emblem. Baisley calling for the ball here. Baisley's had a hacking by. That's a handball. Free kick to Harchester. But Wolves come close again. But Baptiste did not pick up Akin by there. Colin Lee knows Wolves are playing well and pressing for another goal. Harchers to give it away. More Wolves pressure. Oh, come on, Didier, man. Don't let him get to you. It's a book for Didier Baptiste, the French international. He can have few complaints about this. It's the caution for Didier Baptiste. Just a break. They get the ball wide to answer. Forward towards Kingsley. 
West Kingsley now for Hodgson. It goes to Sid the keeper. And he's not. Oh, and that's Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll kill you, Block. I'll kill you. Did you, did you hear that? This man is unbalanced. First of all, he blackmails me, then he shoots one of my players, down there kills my wife, and then threatens to kill me. It's lies! It's lies! You can't fight me like this! Well, it is over! Admit it! You're ruining me with your lies! Come on, sir. <laughs> Sweetheart, everything's gonna be all right. I promise. Hacking boy for Wolves. We had him and his wife here for dinner, remember? You really think he tried to kill me at Wembley? Well, you saw the man, darling. He's insane. I mean, who knows what a, a diseased mind like that is capable of? Eh? Anything. Anything. Even murder. Well, I wouldn't put it past him. Just seconds left. Akin boy. Basically now for Wolves. This match turned on the sending off of Didier Baptiste as Baisley and Ekin Boy celebrate with the fans. I'm lucky, Billy. It's an option. I'm lucky? Look, it was always going to be difficult on me without the 10 minutes. They were winding Didier up all through the first half. Anyone can see that. And then Gordon made them fall for it, didn't he? Don't give me a look. Hard line, son. Gordon, you never looked settled. Was it events off the pitch? Well, as a team, we were technically superior, better organised, but it just took one stupid, foolish mistake to let us down. You're talking about the sending off of Didier Baptiste? Well, it seems to me that players are willing to come here. They're willing to take the wages, but they're not willing to put in the graft. A professional athlete needs discipline, needs commitment. Unfortunately, that's two qualities that young man lacks in abundance. Today, it cost me the match, and this club, the FA Cup. Thanks, Gary. I'm sorry, huh? I said I could stay here until Luis gets back, but uh, I can't stay. Look, the, the lads understand. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I can't play my football here. I want to leave. It's finished. Moving drama. All of it challenges everything you've ever taken for granted over on Movie Max next. Here on Sky One, though, Mega Babies.